All right, now we're going to do some uh, compositions of functions, but we're going to do it graphically. So it says consider these functions and their graphs. 3 fourths x minus 3 and g of x equals the absolute value of x. And it says graph g of f of x right there. Um, and we can do this with Desmos, but we're going to be looking at it as uh, through points today. Um, so in order to do this, I'm going to set up a table. The overall outcome is to say that we have this table. Our goal is to essentially get to this table over here. And how we're going to do that is we're going to start by just picking points on f of x. And the reason why we're going to start picking points on f of x is because it says we need to find the values of f of x first and then plug them into the g of x equation. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to pick some random points along the way. So as we do this, I, I like nice, easy points um, that we can possibly find. So for example, I see zero. Zero is a nice, easy point. Zero is at negative three. So I can go ahead and put zero and um, negative three. Okay. Once I have zero is negative three, I can actually consider just following this up a little bit more and following it through the process of picking a bunch of points off of there. Okay, so maybe this looks like a good point right there. Okay, I can look at that point right there and that looks to be four zero. Okay. And then I can pick another point and it looks like just using the slope over there. Um, one, two, three, four, three. It looks like I can go one, two, three. So I'm at eight, uh, three. Okay. And maybe I'll go backwards just a little bit. Um, and I'll find some other points behind there. Go down three and I look over here and that looks to be at uh, negative four, uh, negative six. Okay. And then I just keep working my way back. I'm going to keep coming over here and it looks like, there we go. Negative five, what is that going to be? Negative eight and um, also um, negative eight there. So maybe, maybe that's what we're looking at, okay? Um, and negative eight and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm sorry, nine, so negative eight, negative nine. Now what it says is to take those f of x and the goal is to plug it into g of x. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to say, okay, well, I'm going to start with f of x. I'm going to plug it in. So in order to do that, this now becomes our input. Okay, and we'll see what kind of answers come off of this. So I could say, okay, well, let's take these and just move them over. Negative 9, negative 6, negative 3, 0, and 3. Okay. And now I just go to the g of x graph. Well, the g of x graph is over here, uh, right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these x values to determine what the g values are. So I'm going to come over here and I'm say, well, negative 9. Well, if I go to negative 9, that is approximately, um, move my graph up, negative 9 is approximately right here, and that looks like at negative nine, that's going to give me a value of nine, okay? And then negative six is going to give me a value of six, okay? And then I just keep working it just like that. Negative three gives me a value of three. Zero gives me a value of zero. And three gives me a value of three. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to now take those points and they are now essentially they we're making the graph of this right here, that g of f of x. So that comes over here. This is now our outputs, our final output puts 9, 6, 3, 0, 3. But our original inputs that we started with are actually right here. This is the most confusing part. I have to take those original inputs and I have to bring them over this way. 
I have to say, well, negative eight, negative four, zero, four, and eight. Okay, and those are actually the points for the graph G of F of X. Now, we can come over here, and I'm just going to go over to Desmos. And I'm going to make a table, and I'm going to plug those points in. So I'm going to add a table in. And start throwing those points in as quickly as I can. So negative 8, 9, negative 4, 6. Negative 8, 9, negative 4, 6. Okay. And then I am going to add those other points in. So let's go back to there. It looks like 0, 3, 4, 0. 0, 3. Four zero, and finally it looks like eight three. Oh, not eight three, but eight three. And as we look at that, we can start to see the formation of another absolute value graph. Now, it is not a perfect um, approximation just off the points, but we can see that it looks something probably along the lines of this. And I can go ahead and check with that information. I can take the original equations and I can plug them in. So I've got g of x, which was equal to the absolute value of x. I've got f of x, which was equal to 3 fourths x. minus three. Um, and then what I can do is I could just put uh, f of x in the g of x. So g of f of x. Okay, you can check it out. There it is. It overlaps exactly what you were anticipating. 